by the European Commission. Uh, it's not an R&D project, it's a pilot project, uh, which is called in, in GeoClouds. And uh, as said by Chris, in, in GeoClouds, uh, one of the main uh, issue has to be uh, uh, the, the use of uh, open, uh, open source software. Uh, because, uh, as said by Chris, uh, these uh, tools are now mature, and uh, this is, these are the most uh, used tools uh, in, in uh, many organizations. And um, this is why we we are speaking about this uh, open source uh, integration approach in the in this project. So uh, I will um, structure my my presentation uh, on, uh, on the th these several uh, aspects. I will remind about the context and the challenges we, we face in this project. Uh, I will uh, give some words about cloud computing, even if uh, I suppose everybody knows about it now. But uh, maybe I will uh, remind some uh, basic principles and show how um, uh, we are dealing with this technology in this project. Uh, I will uh, show you some achievements that I hope uh, would uh, interest you uh, and uh, giving you uh, some flavor of what we are doing and the services we, we are going to provide. Um, and uh, I will speak about uh, the, the, our plans and how you could be also involved in um, further use and further development of the, of the platform. So about the context, what is what is about? So. Um, uh, the project, the basis of the project is that um, um, many uh, organizations and public uh, institutions in particular uh, are faced with the needs of uh, uh, creating, sharing special environmental data and this is what uh, we are dealing with in, the, in this project. Uh, we are involving um, uh, several partners from the geological world as a first step um, and they are facing um, the problem of uh, publishing their data in several forms, uh, with maps, of course, but also uh, providing download services, uh, providing search services, etc. So this is what it's about. And um, the Commission uh, um, uh, gives some uh, funding for this project uh, because uh, they are interested in assessing uh, the cloud uh, computing um, technology in doing this. Uh, and we have seen with Chris that uh, basically it's a very interesting technology and we'll, we are going to see how we put that uh, in, in the RAM in the next slide. So wh what was um, the statement, uh, the basic statement is I think uh, very well known to everybody. Uh, we, are, we, we have uh, a, a big raise in data quantity but also in quality. <laughs> now uh, the data is produced by uh, um, uh, uh, good institutions that are professional in, in producing this data. The problem that they, are, they have is uh, giving accessibility to this data and also sharing this data with uh, uh, peers uh, in their all day work. So um, there is a, a gap here in the uh, in the pace of uh, of ra rating these uh, these uh, several aspects. So um, the Commission, um, uh, you may be aware of that, uh, started in 2007 a new uh, recommendation, uh, a new set of recommendations uh, grouped into the, the, under the INSPIRE label uh, uh, in order to, to improve uh, interoperability of data and uh, also of services, trying to uh, push and force um, uh, public institutions in Europe at least uh, to uh, adapt common rules, uh, technical rules, modeling rules. Uh, uh, it, it's more recommendation than, uh, than um, uh, I would say, uh, uh, basic uh, standards. But anyway, um, uh, the, the goal is to, to have, um, uh, to have this uh, public institution adopt these rules uh, with a certain calendar uh, going up to, uh, to uh, 2017. So um, there are legal obligations for, for this public institution in every EC country for, for following these rules. And this is also what it's about. So what, what, is it, uh, what, what are the problems so when you, you go to, to several um, um, uh, public uh, organizations and institutions? Of course, uh, they all are dealing with uh, web mapping and uh, producing maps. Um, uh, with several approaches. Uh, some are very advanced and use uh, online tools. Uh, some are uh, just uh, doing that uh, with uh, IT, um, house IT infrastructures. 
somehow, uh, not at all uh, <coughs> mature for doing that. Uh, so uh, each data provider basically uh, use a, a particular application, its own application. Uh, it means then when you have to serve a, a, a big uh, array of customers or, or at least of users of your data, you need to build a, a very uh, efficient and uh, uh, reliable uh, IT infrastructure and this costs money, of course. Uh, concerning Inspire, the, the issue is uh, that uh, the, the legal obligation are coming uh, step by step uh, un until 2017, as said. Um, and uh, what, the, what the problem and the situation they have, they usually uh, dedicate uh, some effort in uh, producing uh, Inspire compliant solutions, uh, but not trying not to touch too much about uh, what they have already running. They don't want uh, to make risk in. Uh, um, uh, redefining completely their, their, their systems, existing systems. So uh, they are confronted uh, in, a, in a dilemma here. And uh, in this project, we, we, st we try to, f to produce uh, solutions for uh, um, giving, uh, uh, for, for uh, removing this dilemma. So a uh, quick ID card, just to know um, what, what, we aim, what we aim with this project. So we build a cloud infrastructure for public uh, agencies, especially in the uh, environmental field. Um, we uh, uh, try and uh, publish um, um, geodata through uh, advanced services. So we hope uh, uh, they, they are assessed as advanced. Um, we, uh, one of the big uh, points in the project is also to, to assess uh, the move of existing data sets and services from uh, several um, institutions to the new infrastructure. So we have a, a big uh, panel of uh, institutions. Some of them are very uh, mature in terms of IT and web mapping. Some are uh, just uh, working yet with uh, Excel files. So. Uh, we have a, a good spectrum of uh, users here for the infrastructure. Uh, we, we want uh, them to allow um, to, to uh, fulfill their uh, inspire obligation and of course perhaps to help in uh, interoperability of the data. So uh, basically the consortium is based on, uh, involves uh, geological surveys, as I said, this is the main uh, topic we are dealing with at the moment about geohazards, groundwater management, as, uh, as your main use cases and uh, the data sets are published uh, uh, under these uh, thematics. And uh, we have uh, three uh, ICT organizations uh, with uh, several skills. Where we are, where we started in uh, 2012 and we are finishing uh, next year in July, uh, we are about to open a pilot too that will be usable by uh, all of you. Um, just. Um, Okay, so some words about cloud computing, as said by Chris, I think uh, everybody has heard about that and read a lot of things about that. Uh, I just remind uh, the basic principles where that we used to sell, uh, uh, to discuss, uh, we used that to discuss with our partners uh, just to convince them and to join the project at the beginning because uh, it was not uh, an evidence for them that uh, um, cloud computing can be of interest. Um, so uh, basically this is uh, the well-known uh, figures of uh, uh, the promises of cloud computing in terms of capacity adaptation. Of course, you don't have to buy your servers uh, um, on the on very uh, um, uh, successful steps. So you, you rely on uh, flexibility and elasticity of, uh, of the cloud for uh, achieving uh, your, uh, your needs. So basically, uh, cloud computing is based on the, um, the, the, the merging, the convergence of the several uh, thematics, virtualization, parallel computing, and uh, service-oriented architecture. So you, you, you build this kind of virtual stats. We, we will see how it adapts, or how it is in, uh, in our case. Um, of course, uh, the promises of cloud computing are uh, cost reductions. This is um, the main um, selling point uh, when uh, uh, coming to, to public organization as well. So uh, uh, the, we have to prove in this project also that uh, the total cost of ownership is going to be reduced uh, just because they will be able to uh, just pay what they, they are using. Um, 
it's not only about money, of course. Um, what uh, we uh, promise to, to, to public institutions is also, also, of course, a large computing power, theoretically without limits, except uh, what the money you, get, you have, of course. Uh, you, you get up-to-date operating systems and technologies. This is uh, also a very interesting uh, uh, item. And, of course, ubiquitous access uh, and supposed quality of service. So basically, uh, what uh, what uh, what does it bring in our project? We see that uh, when we uh, put uh, online uh, through Amazon uh, Web Services, of course, uh, several servers, the the system load uh, uh, in terms of requests tends to um, to flatten a bit, uh, depending on the number of uh, of servers you 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 deploy. Of course, uh, this is. I know the, the basics of uh, cloud computing. We will see how this, is, uh, this has been um, um, instantiated in our project. Uh, the main achievements uh, in our projects uh, are not only about uh, cloud computing, um, even if uh, I think it's a fundamental uh, point for uh, our uh, users to have uh, services for uh, uh, data management, elastic services, what we call elastic services, uh, database server, file server, uh, data publication modules is uh, very important to uh, uh, comply with Inspire uh, legal uh, obligations and uh, uh, we uh, produce uh, some modules that allow uh, to, to do that following OGC standards of course. Um, we introduce also an interesting point in terms of um, um, uh, fostering uh, interoperability and uh, Cross uh, usage of the data between the different institutions, which is based on the linked open data uh, approach. Um, we uh, provide an API uh, uh, that allows um, data providers to manage their own uh, private uh, environment, uh, to manage their own users, and to 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 manage uh, authorization and uh, authentication on their data and data sets. And we, we have samples application uh, deployed in the cloud and that integrates smoothly in our architecture. So in terms of um, uh, stack uh, that uh, uh, we, we deployed uh, in, the, in the cloud, it's not uh, only about uh, um, uh, porting. We, we, may, we see that it's not only porting an application on a, a server which which is just running in the cloud instead of running in your <coughs> own IT infrastructure. You have to, to think about, you have to think about, about that more globally by ensuring, uh, by putting, let's say, uh, cloud features uh, in your own application. And so in, uh, in the different layers of your IT application in the operating system. So this is uh, basically provided by a, a cloud infrastructure provider, a cloud service provider like Amazon, of course. But you have to put that for your data, special data storage, the map server that uh, we are using, map server in the in the project, and also on the web, on the web server. So we really have to build a scalable geospatial framework. Um, well, this this stack is composed of very uh, well-known tools, of course. So I let you uh, um, uh, discover that. Uh, what we have also uh, is a, it's a portal which is uh, based on Cytools uh, 2, which is uh, developed by the uh, French Space Agency in France, and uh, where my company is also very active in. Uh, we, as I said, we are, are dealing with the uh, Link Open Data uh, staff uh, through uh, the use of Virtuoso. Uh, we provide full uh, AI. With, and to provide full, it's not yet fully uh, incorporated, uh, AAR mechanism, authorization, uh, authentication, and accounting, which is very important. Of course, you have to be uh, able to, uh, to, um, to build um, and to, uh, to get, uh, to get uh, a, a clear view on the usage of your service, of your resources, uh, generalized uh, REST architecture, and secure API. So this is basically the schema, but uh, I, I won't go into the detail. Uh, we try to be uh, as much as possible agnostic from the cloud computing platform, even if it's very difficult indeed. And we, we must uh, admit that uh, Amazon has uh, 10 years uh, uh, 
uh, is 10 years ahead from, uh, from a competition in providing some very in interesting services. But nevertheless, we built, uh, on top of that, uh, we have uh, full data management uh, um, uh, features, uh, data publication, management, portal. Okay, we, we're going to have some focus about that. What is important is uh, the, the, the keywords uh, for usage of our platform by, by uh, data providers is scalability, elasticity on demand and to have measures about uh, how their services or their data are used. Uh, if we uh, go about the map publication, uh, I'm, I said I, I'm not a JIS guy, so I want to spend a lot of time of that, about that. But basically, we, we build a, a, a kind of elastic geospatial server uh, based on uh, our elastic uh, file system and uh, based the uh, uh, database. So we, we trained through that to answer this, uh, um, this dilemma uh, by, um, let's say, um, putting some new rules uh, in the game for, for the usage of the system. Um, the, the Inspire implementation is driven of, uh, by the, the user's requirements and not by uh, following step-by-step uh, -step the recommendation, the technical guides of the, of the, of the um, commission. Um, we want to combine map publication and Inspire legal requirements. So um, uh, when you build maps, you always have access to uh, uh, publishing also um, uh, WMS, WFS services and also um, putting metadata in a, in a catalog for that. We, okay, it seems interesting, of course. <laughs> uh, and we want also to uh, simplify IT challenges. I said we have uh, partners in the project that uh, were still working with uh, Excel sheets, and uh, of course, uh, for, for them, IT is a foreign world. Uh, so the, 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 um, the paradigm uh, for uh, the web mapping, we changed a bit that. Uh, from most of our partners, we had a homemade IT infrastructure for dissemination and, um, and uh, publishing also uh, inspire services. Now we go to the cloud. Um, concerning the, the specific web mapping application that were used uh, in, uh, every, by every partner, uh, now um, we give um, a common framework for producing my maps and uh, uh, the metadata that goes uh, together with that. Um, we uh, don't have dedicated Inspire services because they are now built in um, uh, in the system and very easily uh, generated by the system. So um, the, the different steps in uh, publishing the maps uh, are, are covered. Uh, with uh, possibilities of uh, creating layers and tagging uh, the data sets, um, uh, defining services, view and download services, which are uh, the main services required by the Inspire recommendations, and also uh, publishing um, um, a catalog uh, for uh, uh, accessing the service, retrieving the services. So uh, this is the kind of maps that are produced through that. Uh, as uh, I said, as an IT guy, I will speak about uh, some implementation uh, issues uh, we, we faced and the use of open source tools for, for solving that. Uh, one of uh, our main base is um, the, the, the file system, of course, which, uh, which is aimed to be elastic, and we based our solution in Gloss Surface, which offers very interesting uh, uh, performance and uh, APIs. We are quite happy with that. Um, in terms of uh, um, uh, throughput and uh, response to, to different uh, uh, file system um, uh, constraints, it uh, answers uh, quite well, depending on the number of uh, servers uh, that we deploy. Um, we uh, also build up um, um, a framework based on uh, PostgreSQL PostGIS uh, for uh, uh, building a, an elastic database server. So relying on the Elastic uh, file system, we just saw uh, where uh, the streaming replication is used uh, from, uh, from the latest versions of uh, Postgres. Uh, archi archive logs uh, are stored in, in the Elastic FS. We have a master for uh, dealing with every update operation and several slaves that can be elast el elastically deployed or reduced depending on the, the charge uh, on, the, on our databases. 
Uh, on top of that, we have a, a PG pool for load balancing, and this PG pool is also um, um, uh, put uh, as, as a reliable installation with uh, a watchdog system that is able to assess whether uh, a PG pool server is uh, still alive and eventually uh, uh, switch to another one. Okay, uh, for manipulating that and, um, and uh, administrating the system, we, we, we have uh, developed uh, a, a complete or uh, comprehensive API uh, with uh, some examples here about uh, database creation. Uh, we have uh, administration services for uh, creating new data providers that would be uh, uh, using the system uh, where they they can use, uh, we can uh, define and administrate their users, the different databases that, that they have, and also uh, export and port services, and monitoring, which is very important, as said, because if, we, if you advertise a cloud for, for your users, you have also to be able to, to make them pay if they, if they are using your resources uh, cloud-wise, so, uh, uh, so they, they pay what they, yeah, they're using. So, um, a, a, a quite um, um, important part in the system is also uh, the approach we have uh, in uh, um, uh, thinking about um, uh, reusing the data at a larger scale um, you through the, the use of uh, the linked, da linked open data approaches. So, uh, it's based on the, the web of data that wants to, uh, to uh, solve the problem of uh, uh, data silos that everybody knows. Uh, it's really about information integration and being able to use uh, data from different domains uh, and uh, being able to interconnect this data and to uh, interpret this data differently by uh, taking uh, different perspectives on the, on the data. Um, so uh, this is a very important uh, aspect in our project. Um, we think, we speak about scientific data in our project. We want to, to be able to integrate and describe this data in a uniform way. So we produced a, a geoscientific observation model, GSOM, uh, which has an RDFS implementation uh, in, the, in the triple store, which is based on Virtuoso, and we provide link data access and manipulation API on this data. Uh, Virtuoso has been chosen because of uh, its uh, open source version that has a very good set of uh, uh, features. Uh, unfortunately, not yet uh, Geo Spark UL support, but uh, uh, apparently they are working on that. And uh, you, you can easily buy, uh, build the clusters of, um, 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 of Virtuoso and also using um, uh, pre-built uh, instances in the cloud, in Amazon Cloud. Basically, uh, you take your different input files and you have um, um, all the mapping mechanisms from your relational database to uh, the RDF triple store using a R2 RML uh, standard uh, where it's XML files where you just describe your mapping. Uh, this, you do the same for any kind of, uh, of files. So this is just to show how the, the model is structured. So each uh, concept on the semantic model is also documented and well described for uh, other institutions that would, would like to use the same uh, model uh, to, uh, to, 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 to integrate their data. And of course, this model is also mapped to uh, the data models that INSPIRE requires uh, in, the, in the different fields, for example, in groundwater management. So um, what we have now is a pilot one running on the web. Uh, pilot two is about to open at the end of this month. <coughs> we need, uh, nevertheless, to work uh, yet on the Inspire compliance, which is uh, not uh, fully achieved. Uh, the objectives of the project are not yet fully achieved, uh, but we expect until July next year to, to, to do that. Uh, one of our uh, uh, main topic uh, is uh, to, to be able to um, uh, assess uh, more uh, finally, more, in a more fine-grained uh, level, uh, the performance of our system and uh, manage the cost, the cost of the system, the overall cost of the system. 
Uh, we are also a big activity in um, assessing uh, how the data providers uh, perceive the use of the system uh, with their data sets. Uh, and uh, the we are building with them uh, um, a kind of a business plan where we, uh, we assess uh, the different possibilities for um, uh, providing free services and also uh, against fees services depending on the, the volumes of data, volumes of uh, usage, etc. Um, to illustrate uh, the, the kind of challenges we have uh, in terms of uh, optimization, these are the requirements from uh, Inspire concerning the WMS uh, services for get maps. Uh, with the small uh, Amazon instances, we are not uh, answering the, the requirements, which uh, requires uh, up to uh, 20 uh, requests per second support, so we reached six only. If we go to a large Amazon instance, we, we reach 50. So this, this is a kind of tuning we, we still have to do. Uh, we as I said we have a uh, very big uh, work yet uh, uh, going on uh, on the accounting uh, because uh, we want to preserve data providers ownership on the data sets and uh, on the access to the service and to be able to to give them the possibility to control that um, so we we are also uh, are giving a uh, possibility to do some open trials for for data providers um, by uh, inviting them to use the platform and eventually to push the data in the cloud um, to uh, develop uh, linked data features, of course, which are very promising. And also to integrate, we are integrating some WPS uh, services. So the pilot to a set is being cooked and will uh, uh, come out uh, at the end of the month. We have uh, planned a workshop in uh, November in Brussels, see if you come by. You will be welcome, uh, where we will have uh, some uh, hands-on on the system and some training. So don't hesitate to contact us if you are interested in knowing more about that. Thank you. <laughs> some questions? So it was crystal clear. <laughs> Uh, it's a more uh, historic, uh, historical uh, fact because one of our um, partners is the BRGM, the French uh, Geological Survey, uh, which is uh, using maps very extensively, uh, and they were um, uh, very much interested in uh, deploying the uh, web, uh, web mapping application, uh, which is called Carmen, and which is known, I think, only in France but it's uh, quite powerful and uh, self-service application, which is based on map server. And um, it, appears al it appeared also that most of our partners were also using map server. That's why we, we started building our system on that. But okay, thanks. Welcome. thanks very much. Well. It was a break now for half an hour and uh, everything starts again. 